everybody, I'm back with another unboxing, and today we're unboxing Hatchimals Collectibles Coral Castle playset. Um, this is from the Mermel Magic this current season. Apparently we get an exclusive, we get exclusive characters. Uh, one looks like it might be a kitty can, maybe? And then the other one is a mystery. So, um, yeah, let's see if there's anything cool to read on the box before we get this open. It says, Swim, Splash, and Sparkle at Coral Castle, home of the Mermels. And we have a, we have all kinds of cool things. Uh, there's 25 plus places to place um, Hatchimals on. I'm pretty excited about this. Um, <laughs> I need a little display place, place for all the uh, Hatchimals that I've been intensively hatching on this channel. So it looks like there's a lot of places to put them. I wonder who could be in there. Uh, does this slide change colors? Sort of look like, looks like it might. Um, and I wonder what the treasure is inside. So I noticed that on a couple of spots here, there's little like uh, nubs where the, the holes in the bottom of them can place in there so they're not going to fall out of the swing anymore. They'll be a little bit more stable in some of the spots. So that's pretty cool. Um, I guess maybe water can just go right in the bottom here so they can actually have fun and splash around. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this opened up and see what it looks like outside of its box. Okay, so it was actually pretty simple to get out of its box. Um, there's all kinds of really cool things going on here. Here's our egg. We're gonna hatch that in a little bit. Uh, so this closes up, it looks like. Let's see how far it closes in. Oh, cool. All right, so when it closes up, it really looks like a castle. Um, you can't, it kind of limits, limits your display a little bit, but not much. So that's actually really cool that you can make it compact like that, or you can just open up the gate, open up the castle gate. And it can actually flex all the way back. Yeah, I, I just sent everything flying here. But we're going to actually try to um, display... Now, before I say anything, uh, say hello to Blaze. It wouldn't be a, a video on this channel without a visit from Blaze. Blaze is going to check everything out and make sure it's safe for the Hatchimals. Um, so before... Um, I'm actually going to try and see if I can get 26... Hatchimals on here? Do I have 26 Hatchimals? Of course I do. Um, before we do that, do we want to open this first or do we want to see what's in the treasure? I say go for the treasure first. So let's see what's inside of our treasure box here. Oh, okay. So it must be, um, oh, it looks like we get a little Gorilla Bee. Hold on, guys. So here is Gorilla Bee. Uh, is it Gorilla Bee or is it Monkeywee? I think it might be Monkeywee. Um, he's a purplish color with a light pink face and belly and he has green eyes. He also has that jewel that magically changes in hot water to whatever color is underneath the blue. If you remember when we opened up our six pack, our couple of six pack shells, uh, that video, that's kind of what, um, this monkey is all about right there. So that was our treasure. That was a cool treasure, I think. And so I'm thinking that whoever's inside here must be the kitty. Please, will you get your head out of the way, please? Thank you. Yeah, so this is our kitty. I don't even know if this is a kitty or if this is Pandu. Here is our hatched Hatchimal. We um, have the silver wings that the, that the monkey has, but we have a blue tail. So these are both going to be, these are both going to reveal in water. I'm actually going to pour this, I don't know if I should pour this water into this slide, I don't know. I'm going to probably pour the water into the slide. Just give me a second here. Alright, we had a little bit of an overflow, but I went ahead and I poured the water in the slide. Um, so, we have, uh, our kitty can Pandu, <laughs> and we're going to put him down the slide and we're going to see what it changes color to. Mm. 
Okay, it looks like you changed to a nice light blue here. Oh. Alright. If you guys can see that at all. He went from the, uh, dark blue to a light blue. Almost a gray. So we're gonna leave him soaking in there. And then, we have our monkiwi. We're gonna go ahead and reveal what color his crystal is. Right now it's a bluish color, a blue, like a, yeah, a bluish. Now he... You guys see that? The water, the water's changing color. Oh, it looks like he's got a yellow transparent crystal beam, whatever you want to call that <laughs> type of crystal cut. I think it's a prism, right? I don't know. But look how cute! Oh my goodness. And I forgot to tell you guys that the, um, the castle gates, if you couldn't tell, are transparent. They're like a transparent light blue. And they're really sparkly, but the sparkle is embedded in there, so it's great. It doesn't get all over your fingers. Uh, let's take a, a look around uh, look around the castle a little bit. So up here we have a little swing uh, that'll fit two Hatchimals in. We'll show you how that works when we uh, finish looking around here. We have a couple of shells here. We have a long shell. We have a couple of sand dollars that are purple. Um, a white starfish and this window here and the window is, is shaped like a clamshell and if you flip it if you flip it upside down you get a little bit of a, a it's like a glitter globe so um, oh my glitter seems to be stuck oh the, oh there we go see it's really subtle but it's a nice little touch I think it's kind of a cute cut cute touch um, we talked about the swing before this light pink swing that swings. Um, the 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 way they kind of created this too, it's in a window, so it can actually it actually has a lot more of a of a swing. Uh, the the ones they've made in the past were up against walls, so they only had a little bit of movement. Still good, but they've bettered themselves with this set. Um, the inside of the castle is a, a light teal. And you have a little bit of more of a detail work that's not really painted, but it's uh, into the plast in, uh, plastic molded on there, like a couple of clamshells, a couple of uh, seaweed. We got a little seaweed that's green over here. Um, another place to sit a Hatchimal up there. All around here on the edges, you can put you can put Hatchimals. And all around the edges on the other side. Uh, there's over here. There's like a little splash thing that you go through when you when you put the hatchable down the slide. Let me just display. Let me just show you how that works. You just kind of plop them through back here, and he goes right into the right into the drink. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this filled up. Uh, I don't know if I can do it on camera. It's a bit hard when you're um. One-handed. Okay, so I got all my Hatchimals that I had loose uh, displayed. This is actually 26 Hatchimals. Um, you had to kind of imagine certain spots. Like, I I don't know if they considered a full pool party in here. Display spots. Um, and uh, I actually added a nest from another uh, set. So that doesn't really go with it, but... Um, but uh, either or, either way, um, it does give you a lot of display space. And oh, I forgot I was going to show you how this swing works. So it spins. So red shell part on top of the things makes it spin. So you have this little swing here. So you got the swing in the middle. The nubs in there, so we're not going to fall over. We can go as high as we want. It stays. And then you have the wind. There's a lot of cool little uh, action figures going on here, or action features going on here. Um, overall, amazing set. 
uh, worth its weight and value. <laughs> I would totally get it if you are into Hatchables. If not, you might want it anyway. <laughs> That's all we have for you guys today. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.